you've obviously got quite a bit of makeup on yourself. So you and your daughter clearly like makeup yes. and using makeup. Did she start using makeup when she was quite young? She probably started experimenting with makeup when she was 12. Yeah. The usual thing, watching YouTube videos. How much makeup would you say she wears to school? Very minimum. She wears a base foundation to cover her acne, her eyebrows, and a bit of mascara. So nothing too glamorous. Yeah, so not lashes or anything like that? Sometimes she might have some individual lashes that are not noticeable. Okay. They just make her feel right. better. But what is her school's policy about wearing makeup? Her new school has um, quite a relaxed yeah. approach but to old makeup. But the old one where you had a problem. But her it. old school is no tolerance with makeup at all. She's numerously been put in detentions, on reports, taken out of her class and been told to take all her makeup off. So knowing that, why did you let her go to school with makeup if you knew that the policy was no makeup? Because she got, she used to get bullied for having acne. I didn't know to start. That's why she started wearing a foundation, a bit of makeup. And I think with her just wearing minimal amount of makeup that you can't really notice is not a big issue if it's going to help her sit and settle down and concentrate and feel confident at school without having the fear of people staring at her, thinking that they're going to bully her at school. But there is a difference that some people might be saying now. Well, OK, I get that if somebody's got bad skin and we all went through that. It's a horrible time as a teenager. You can cover that. You don't have to then wear false eyelashes, lipstick, contouring as well. You know, you can cover spots, can't you? It's not just the spots. It's about making her feel good about herself, being body positive. You get bullied for numerous amounts of things at school and there's so much pressure on children at the moment. I don't think being put in detention because your eyebrows are too big, for example. Mm -hmm. It's ridiculous. The school should be concentrating on educating the children rather than taking them out of class and disciplining them. Yeah, but you could so. argue you should be concentrating on your child's education as opposed to the way she looks. That should be the priority. Oh, I do, I do. Well, and I teach her body confidence, but at the end of the day, she's an individual. If she feels that she yeah. needs that, but what, to I, what I want to see now, Jenna, is how that transgresses, how that crosses over. And here's from the headmistress's point of view, uh, when does that become an issue for you as to the amount of makeup and how it's worn? To start with, I, I completely empathise with young people and what they have to go through. I've got three children, 21, 19, 15. We've had acne, we've had other skin conditions, we've had the teasing, and we've had to deal with it as a family as well as a school. Um, I do feel if your school has got a school rule, like strict uniform and no makeup, then the children, you know, should adhere to that. You know, they buy into the school, they buy into the policies. Now, if there's an issue with bullying, that has to be addressed separately. I think if it's about self-esteem and confidence, that has to be, you know, dealt with separately. And also, if you do have skin issues, I think there are things that can be done. For example, go to a GP, talk about it, see what can be so done. So what's the policy at, at your school, your LVS school in, in Ascot? It's a co-ed school, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. So, because boys wear makeup too. Yeah, absolutely. And we have a no makeup rule. We don't seem to have any many problems with it. We get the old one or two. And we also say, you know, with girls and boys, if you get to 13 or 14 and you're starting to see a problem, let's talk about it go and see your GP and you can wear a light covering as long as it's very natural to help you and your, yes, yourself. Yes. What, what is the well, problem look, there, Christine, no, no, about... I'm just going to say something here. You, as females, have all been through this in the past yourselves, personally. Oh, so well, I, lots... I wasn't allowed to make up at school. Yeah, as, well, yeah but what I'm saying oh, is... I was allowed to wear makeup at school and that was like 20 years ago and there was never any issue. You never heard of issues back then with kids going to school, and we would go did. to school with yeah. orange of faces. Did. Yeah, we did. I mean, the they're always the girls. teachers would not discipline children. Well, they might have at your mind. school, but it's an issue at most other they schools. They did definitely mind. I just want to ask you though, Christine, in term, from an educationer, ed educationalist, what is the problem? I mean, if if that child is doing all their work, doing their homework, getting mm. decent grades, why is there a problem with them having makeup on? Well, I don't think makeup goes with school uniform. Full stop. I also think there's too much time wasted putting it on in the morning, especially if you've got a long bus journey or you've got homework to do there's so many pressures for children academically now and I think when you go to school you should be just be prepared to get down and work if you've got to run around the field you want to look quite natural when you come back in the classroom you don't want to worry about mascara running down your face or and I don't like these big eyebrows either yeah. a lot but of children get a child's choice of if they want to wear that makeup or get up that little bit extra to give them the confidence to be able to sit and concentrate at school yeah, I, d I don't think it is the child's choice, actually. I think they come to school to work. I'm beginning to laugh here. The <laughs> idea that I actually would have a choice at anything at school would have been, would have been alien to me. But Most of the time when she's out with a friend, she doesn't actually wear makeup. It's purely 
mo the majority of the time when she's at school, which, cho which shows there's an issue at school. And I okay. think the school... Well, you may be a specialist, you, you may have to have a medical note for something like that, but your problem as a headmistress is they'll all try it on, won't they? If one gets away with it, they'll all be doing it. But, but why don't schools concentrate on body, body confidence or well, they, actual bullying, the they root cause of why so many girls at school because you'll find 90 percent of mm. girls at school wear makeup but nobody seems to be asking the question why they're punished now, the two of you mm. we've been asking we've been running a poll this morning right do you think we asked people should children be allowed to wear makeup at school do you think they agreed with you or they agree with you they agree with me <laughs> They do agree with you. You're absolutely right. 61% of them uh, agree with you, and they say children should not be allowed to wear that makeup at school. And uh, that's from 12, well, over 12,000 people who voted this morning on that. You've moved your daughter now to a school yes, where I've, she's I've allowed to wear makeup. I've been given no choice. Mm. She, she suffered at school, and her education started to struggle. She started not wanting to go into school, and that's not what I want. Since moving her to her new school, she's flourished. She's doing amazing, and she's in with her peers that also wear makeup. And I've not had any issues whatsoever, and the school are actually doing well, we're glad better we're glad than most schools.